In tutorial number 16, we created T-tails on the tops of these fins. Now let's get a little bit more advanced and put pods on the top of these T-tails. So here's the fin T-tail and we're going to put a pod on that. Now this is a fin set, it's actually two fins. So when we add the pod, it's going to ask us do we want to split it. And that's the error message you'll get. And we'll say yes, it's going to split it into two, two fins. And we're going to name this new pod, let's call it Fractal Pod. Uh, you're going to have to get creative on the names if you're going to have a lot of pods on your rocket. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. And this pod can be ejected, we'll say no. Uh, we're not going to put in any engines in this, uh, but you can if you want. Okay, so there's our T-tail fin, and it broke it into two fins, and it put a pod on one of the fins. So now to this pod, we're going to add a nose cone and a body tube and a tail cone. So let's give it a nose cone. And I'm going to choose from the database uh, a 13 millimeter nose cone. Uh, actually, I want a plastic nose cone. There it is. Click OK. Let me resize this screen for you. Okay, so there is the nose cone on that pod. And everything is okay, so I'm going to click OK. And now, so there is the nose cone. Now we're going to add a body tube to that. And it's going to be a 13 millimeter no, uh, body tube. Okay, so right now that body tube is hanging way back, um, so I'm just going to shorten it up a bit. And um, I don't know what color to make it. We'll make it uh, bright pink in 2D. Let's darken it up a little bit so that in case you can't see this. All right, there it is. And we'll click OK. And now we're going to add to that body tube a transition which is going to be a boat tail and uh, I'm going to say cancel out of the database and uh, we're going to create this one from scratch um, so it's going to be attached right here and that's a 13 millimeter tube so I'm going to go to the shoulder tab and the front shoulder I'm going to find a 13 millimeter tube and there's the 13 millimeter tube and I click OK and if we zoom in you can see this it added the shoulder and uh, I'm gonna clear that shoulder value out but what that did for me by selecting the tube it gave me the front diameter and that's what I was interested in and the rear diameter you can't leave it at zero it's got to be a number but it can be a very tiny number a thousandth of an inch and uh, we'll give it some length, eh, a little bit too long. Let's just make it two inches and give it a shape, uh, parabolic. So it kind of matches that other one right there. And 2D color, let's change that to that color. And the 3D color, let's make it uh, red. Okay, and then okay. Uh, the material must be specified. That's what happens when you we're in a hurry, so I'm going to say this is uh, polystyrene, and I'll make it hollow, and make the wall thickness 035, which is about the average thickness of plastic. Okay, so there's that pot on there. Let's zoom in. All right. And now we're going to change the uh, position of that pod. So we find that fractal pod and we go to edit because now we want to move it forward a little bit. And uh, you can look at it in, um, in the 3D view or the, the top view to get some, a better view of that. And where you, when you like it, you can say OK. OK, so there's our pod. Um, this other fin, I'm going to delete it. Say yes. 
and the screen refreshed. So there's our pod. And now I can, if I want to put it on the other side, I'll just copy this fin and highlight it and use the right click on your mouse and then say copy and highlight this and do a paste right there. Okay, so we should have two fins. Fin set number one got duplicated. So this is going to be 1B and this one up here is 1A. And you can highlight it um, and edit the text then hit enter on your keyboard to accept that new name. So now I'm just doing this so we can tell them apart and this is why naming is so important. Okay, so now this fin is actually on top of that one there. So we need to actually um, edit that fin. And let's go to the base view. Okay, so they're both right here right now. And I'm going to go to the radial position. And I'm going to say this is minus 90 degrees. And what that's going to do is going to change it to the other side. So there it is on the other side. So now... In 3D, we should be able to see where it is. And we may have to come back and actually tweak the location of that fin so everything lines up. So that's basically how you do custom fins and then how you can make really advanced looking rockets. And, and in the next video, I'll show you one more technique that you can do with pods.